Learning to perform new tasks by imitating humans is a long-term goal in robotics. To imitate successfully, a robot must figure out whether its behavior is semantically the same as a human demonstrator's behavior, despite the differences in viewpoint and visual differences between robots and humans. In a pouring task, for example, a robot must understand the concept of a hand contacting a container, the angle of a container, and whether or not liquid is flowing. In this work, we present a method that allows robots to learn these representations purely by observing humans interact with the world. In this video, we show the nearest neighbors for each frame on the left in the embedding space learned by our model. Our model uses a triplet loss trained on multi-viewpoint observation. Co-occurring frames from multiple viewpoints are attracted to each other in the embedding space, while visually similar frames from nearby time steps in the same video are pulled apart. This encourages the embedding to be invariant to viewpoint, but sensitive to semantic cues that are indicative of time, such as whether liquid's pouring into a cup. The model is trained on one multi-view demonstration at a time. While two views of the same demonstration are synchronized, no correspondence between different demonstrations is ever provided. We can also consider a time-contrastive model trained on only one view. This time, the positive frame is randomly selected within a certain range of the anchor. A margin range is then computed given the positive range. Negatives are randomly chosen outside the margin range, and the model is trained as before. We find that TCN models automatically discover the visual cues that are important for interaction, including poses, relative distances, contact, and cup fullness. The nearest neighbors found with TCNs are more meaningful and indicative of task-relevant events than the neighbors found by other baselines such as Shuffle and Learn or an ImageNet-trained Inception model. We find that multi-view TCN outperforms the single-view version. Here we show nearest neighbor imitations. For each observation frame, we find the nearest neighbor frame from another test pouring video. None of these containers have been seen during training. In the same way that a robot would perform an imitation, demonstrations are observed from a third-person viewpoint, while imitations are taken from a first-person viewpoint. Here we compare multiple models, multi-view TCN, single-view TCN, and shuffle and learn. Notice that the TCN model is robust to noise in the demonstrations, such as motion blur and saturation, as well as large variations in scale, viewpoint, and translation. Here's an example of imitation failure. In this case, TCN properly captures the pose of the hand and container, but fails to capture the amount of liquid in the cup. Here we show a demonstration where no liquid's flowing. In this video, the TCN can choose neighbor frames from any test video, including ones where liquid's being poured. As you can see, the model is able to recognize the angle of the pouring container, as well as whether or not liquid's flowing. We also demonstrate that TCN is robust to imitation using robotic end effectors never seen during training. Besides understanding object interactions, we can use TCNs for self-supervised pose imitation by a robot. We show that without any explicit human pose labels, the robot can learn to map observed human poses to its own corresponding join angles. First, the robot observes humans and itself from multiple viewpoints, and uses the same TCN architecture from the pouring experiments to learn a pose representation. Second, while observing itself, the robot learns a self-supervised joint decoder that maps from the TCN representation to its own internal joint angles at the time. Third, we can shape both the encoder and the joint decoder by providing it with observations of humans attempting to imitate its motion. After being trained in this way, the robot is able to encode human observations and decode the joints for corresponding behavior, without ever explicitly representing human pose. We compare different combinations of training signals and show that TCN plus robot self-supervision outperforms the pure human supervision. We find that combining all signals performs best. 
Here we show imitations that are only using the time contrastive and self-supervision signals. No human supervision or any correspondence between the demonstrations was ever provided. Note that while squatting up and down only requires a single joint for this robot, it involves many joints for humans, and this complex nonlinear mapping was discovered via self-supervision. We observed some failure cases, in particular with the shoulder joint, as well as with poses that were poorly sampled during training. Finally, this imitation was trained with all available signals.